welcome to my first video of me talking to you guys. That's weird. Okay, I'm still not ready. Okay, it's just funny because like, why do I have this on my bed? Tea, wine? I'll take the tea this evening, thank you. You know what, thank goodness for editing because I don't know why to be so awkward in the very beginning, so I could just cut that part out. So I just kind of wanted to like open up this topic and have a little bit of a say on it. Like I've had issues with self-confidence and I've developed eating issues and um, what's helped me is catching myself, saying these things about myself and replacing them with positive thinking. Um, going to the gym, my dog, um, my family, my friends. Um, but it's a process, like it's not gonna happen overnight and it's something you have to work at. Um, and going to talk to someone shouldn't be weird. It shouldn't be, oh, you went and saw a therapist. Like, it should be normal. If you have to go see a therapist, you should just go see one. It's nothing to be ashamed about. You shouldn't be ashamed to have these issues or ashamed that you have to go seek help for them because I've been to a therapist. I'm not gonna hide that because especially during this conversation. Um, and I think it's freaking great. They, you have someone to go talk to, someone that has a blank slate of your life and you can open up to them and they can help guide you through your problems or help you figure out your thoughts and sometimes you can't do that yourself and sometimes your friends and family can't do it either so it shouldn't be something that you're ashamed to go do because everyone should do it if you have to and if you need someone to talk to even if it's just like you don't have friends you don't have family that you feel comfortable talking to seeing a therapist is a great alternative and they can help more than you know and what's the harm if you have if you're out of options so why the freak not right and it's not gonna hurt the worst it could do is nothing you're where you started and the best it could do is something and you've taken a step to better your health mental health which is a lot more important than physical health sometimes because it's taking lives and it should be something that we're comfortable talking about. There's been times in my life where I would eat so much that I would binge eat everything on my plate, I didn't want to waste it, come up with any excuse to just eat it all, it's good. Um, then you feel so bloated and crappy after and you feel like all your progress is gone. Um, that you're fat now, um, you're never gonna get it right, um, things like that. It's just like some thoughts that would go through my head. Um, and then you compensate by trying to be super healthy and not eat a single thing bad for a whole month and you'll catch up and fix it. But like, that's not the point. The point is building something that's healthy and sustainable and something that you can do for the rest of your life. Um, so if you want to have a piece of pie, have a freaking piece of pie. I'm just thinking about pie right now because there's pumpkin pie in my kitchen that I'm probably going to go eat after this. But like my point is, Thanksgiving's coming up. Don't shame yourself for eating. If you want a freaking 10 pieces of pie because you want to try all the different flavors, take 10 freaking pieces. Maybe not like so extreme, but you get what I'm saying. If you want a burger, then have a burger. <laughs> I probably did not say that right. I just want, like feel like everyone should just like be able to talk about these things like with a friend or you should just feel like you shouldn't have to keep it to yourself because it's not normal or because 
no one else is talking about it. But like sometimes when you tell someone something that you've been keeping to yourself for a really long time or how you've been feeling, it just feels like a weight off your shoulders. So sometimes just a listening ear or just like someone that you can go vent to, it shouldn't be alienated, alien, it shouldn't be words. It should, just shouldn't be abnormal to talk about it. Like, my dog is being really gross right now. Don't do that on my pillow. My dog needs to be let in my room. few moments later. Come say hi. What a perfect example or timing of a little puppy because sometimes cuddles from your dog or support system. Just cuddles when you're feeling sad. Right? You give me a kiss? Big fat no. Um, just little things that can like help you your pets, your family, your friends. Um, one thing that I found that really helped me when I wasn't confident in the gym was when I would catch myself saying something bad about myself in the mirror, I would try and compensate by coming up with five things that I like about myself. But you have to catch yourself thinking these things or else it's just a downward spiral of you hating yourself, building up self-hatred, self-doubt, and this all spirals into other issues, whether it be, I can't think of an example, so let's end that there. Um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by this, but like, it's fresh as fuck. You've gotten this far into my video, and if you've listened to me this long, you guys are freaking awesome. Um... Yeah. And if you have these issues, feel free to talk to someone. Feel free to talk to me. Feel free to be open about them. We all have them. Everybody is fighting their own battle. You never know what someone is going through. So just be kind to one another. If you think something nice about someone, don't be afraid to tell them. Don't be afraid to be a nice person. And good will come back. What goes around comes around. Be a good person, be there for someone if they need you, be a listening ear, you could be the friend that someone needs, you could be someone that needs a friend to listen, um, but we're all going through our own shit and we all have our own problems, so just be kind to one another, I feel like I'm freaking Ellen when I say that, <laughs> but it's true. Just be a nice person. Be there. Have a freaking great day. That's all I have to say. I did not mean for that to rhyme, but it worked out. <laughs>